I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw Devil's Tower, a landform in Wyoming. I take one finger right here in the center and underneath I'm going to put a dot. And from that dot I'm going to draw a slightly curved line down, a little bit out, and leave it floating. I come back up to the dot and I'm just going to draw a slightly curved line, curved line, straight line, curved line, curve line out, and leave it floating. I come back on the inside, and this landform has what we would call striations. They're little, skinny, weathering lines that encompass the whole entire space. So we're going to go ahead and draw straight lines, or slightly curved lines, or slightly wavy lines as we make our way down the face of this form. And they're pretty skinny mini. If you want to make them even skinnier, you can. It would be okay. Now, this time when we draw, we're going to do some drawing using crayon, but that's later on when we color. Bring it on down. You can fit it in. Remember, it's a landform, so it's okay. All right. Next, there's a whole line of trees. Now, I'm not going to sit here and try and draw each individual tree. So what I do is, is I just draw wavy line up, down, up, down, up, down. And it can be any kind of size because it's nature. Then I come up against the face of my landform and I continue this up down up down tree line that is really basically wavy lines wavy lines wavy lines off to the other edge of the paper okay but it's not just one row it's a couple of rows so we're going to continue doing this up down almost controlled scribble scrabble all the way across our paper. And it's basically wavy lines, curved lines, back and forth, zigzag, up and down, up and over, keep going, keep going to the edge of the paper. Now, come down, we're going to do some individual, so I'm just going to draw some wavy lines, connect, move over, wavy line, connect, wavy line up, over, down, up, and connect. Okay, might want to add a little bit more up, down, up, down on the right hand side. Okay, now amazingly enough we are going to color. Okay, we're going to do a lot of double coloring. So the first thing I'm going to do is I want to color in this space. And I'm just going to take lines of color. And on this one I'm using peach because it's kind of a sandstone color. If you don't have, these are multicultural crayons. If you don't have multicultural crayons, you can use your brown. Because we're going to come in on it in a minute also. So I go ahead and I put my first coat of color using my apricot or my peach. Then I come in with another brown and just go over what I just did. Try and stay close to your lines. You don't want to upset that striation look that this rock landform has going on. You can do this with a light brown, <clears throat> excuse me, and then come back in with the darker brown. Next, the bottom is grasslands. So first I'm going to take my yellow 
And I'm just going to do some up, down, up, down patches of yellow. Bring it up to the edge of the paper. Because then I'm going to take my yellow green and I'm going to go horizontally now with my lines and bring it up till it blends in with my yellow. And that's going to give me a grasslands, prairie kind of look because this landform is set back on a lot of acreage, a lot of land. So the lead up to it, you go through grasslands, tree line, stone. All right. Now I come in with my regular green and I'm just going to go up, down, up, down and put a coat of color on this space. I like to call it my tree line. <clears throat> Don't forget the little ones down here at the bottom. Up, down, up, down. And you could say, well, that doesn't look very neat or tidy. And then I would say to you, well, it is nature. So you bring it all the way down, bring it all the way around. Okay? Because then, <clears throat> excuse me, we're going to come in with a gray. And that is what we're going to unify the whole tree line with. We're going to put gray, loop-de-loop -loop it, over all of the darker green. And that's going to unify the whole entire tree line. Okay? Okay. Next, I want to do... A day moon that means a baby circle right here that you see in the daytime and then I'm going to do up down up down off the page with my blue crayon underneath I go up down up down with my blue crayon off the page come up up down up down I crash into that underneath do it again crash into that, jump over, continue, up, down, up, down, come down a little bit, up, down, up, down, a little bit, up, down, up, down. Okay, usually I don't do a regular background where you have to do the entire upper part of this one color, but in this situation, this is such a dynamic landform and the sky really is emphasized. So what I'm doing is I'm doing a loop-de-loop -loop in between the blue lines that I already drew. And those blue lines are going to be clouds. So I come up and I do loop-de-loop -loop all the way over. You might want to put another piece of paper underneath so you don't have to worry about your tabletop or your drawing set and what I do is I like to do my first bit of color come down and do around my baby circle this is another bit of color come down and do another bit of color so get that first layer of color in then you can come back in and darken it up but it's really, you can Google this, this is Devil's Tower in Wyoming, and it really is spectacular landform. And part of the reason why is because of the way it stands out against the sky and the land coming up to it. Okay? This all needs to be darkened up, but you get the general idea. Okay, I might go over this a little bit with my blue crayon. All right, let's see 
what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here is Devil's Tower all colored in in Wyoming. This is important. A sacred place to over 20 Native American tribes. It's just spectacular. Okay, bye-bye.